I decided I was gonna make an egg sandwich instead, but you guys, <laughs> I don't know what happened with this piece of bacon. Like, we have a lost soldier here. He did not make it. I don't know what is so different about this one, like why this one burnt to pieces. But anyways, um, I just put some bacon in my oven and I'm gonna show you guys this low carb bread that I use. Okay, so I got this bread at my local grocery store. It's Fran's brand, um, but it was just like in the aisle and I actually really like it. I store mine in the freezer because I do not eat bread that often and I always eat it toasted. So I've never had it with like, as like a sandwich or something, but if you eat it this way, <laughs> it's my baby in the back. If you eat it this way, it's pretty good and I love making my avocado toast with it. So I'll show you guys that. Okay, you guys, so today I thought I would show you how to make the keto version of the infamous whipped coffee that's been going around. It is a TikTok trend, which, by the way, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I make this coffee right here. Hey, keto friends. Today we are going to be learning how to make the infamous whipped coffee keto style. What you're gonna need? Instant coffee, three tablespoons. I use Starbucks. Two cups of almond milk. I use silk, unsweet vanilla. A fourth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. A granular sugar replacement. I use Swerve. A glass with ice. We're quarantining up in here. Add your coffee and your sweetener to a bowl with three tablespoons of boiling water. Whip until it feels like your arm's gonna fall off. Seriously, if you have a whisk, use it. I don't, I'm poor, I have a fork. Keep whisking, I got smarter using my hand mixer. Almost there, keep mixing. Need a something stronger. Good enough, that's it. Spoon it into your cup. In awe, and photograph of course. And try it. Okay. It's not awful, but I'm not really feeling it, you guys. I'm not really feeling it, it's like, it's like kind of funky. Like, I don't know, maybe it's the instant coffee that I use. Like I use these uh, Starbucks instant B coffees. Maybe that's why I messed it up. I don't know, but it is just, ugh. I feel like it's gonna really mess my stomach up, which by the way, if you're not following me over on my TikTok, make sure that you go and do that um, because I will be doing different like craft videos and recipes and just like lifestyle stuff. Mom, life, I love creating these little videos. I'm like hooked on phonics. Um, but yeah, I was, I spent like the last 30 minutes making this thing because seriously you have to whip it until your arm falls off and I wasted so much time. So I am just gonna drink my water and probably ditch this. Mm. But actually I am kind of feeling a little snackish so I'm just gonna have a couple pieces of this watermelon. So good and These are the Blue Diamond um, Wasabi and Soy Sauce Almond. I love these. They're so good. They have like this nice, like spicy kind of kick to it. Um, it's like really bold. So I just think like sweet and spicy together kind of goes really good. So I'm gonna snack on just like a handful of nuts and some of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is three o'clock already and I'm just now eating lunch because I've had a crazy busy afternoon. I'm just gonna have a taco salad. Um, this is just a bed of lettuce I just cut up with some red onions, some tomato, and I'm gonna chop up some jalapenos. And then this is leftover taco meat because we had enchiladas last night. So I'm gonna do some of that and then I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this um, brown rice and black beans also just because, I don't know, because I'm feeling like it, so yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, so yeah, like I said, just some ground beef, beans and rice. I have did the rest of the avocado from this morning because I can only eat one of those little packets, which by the way, I got at Costco and they're awesome. A little bit of salsa, some jalapeno, and some cheese, and this is going to be delicious just like this. Feel free to give this a little bit of a 
like a squirt of lime juice or something too if you like, but I just like the um, avocado and salsa together as like my dressing and it's really good. Hey guys, all right, so it is super late. It's 5.30 right now and I'm just getting started with dinner and this is probably gonna take me like 30 minutes because I started late, but I was craving the Zupa Toscana soup from Olive Garden. I know I probably just butchered that, oh well. Um, but I wanted to make it low carb, you know? So instead of using potatoes, we are going to be using cauliflower. So let me show you guys everything that you're gonna need for this recipe. We are gonna be using um, half of a white onion here. I've got my cauliflower florets. This is about half of a head chopped up here. We're gonna be using some kale. I've got beef broth. You can obviously use chicken or vegetable, whatever you have. Heavy whipping cream, your seasonings. I've just got salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. And then of course we're gonna be using some crushed garlic and then the star of the show I have some uh, pork sausage here you can definitely use some Italian sausage I thought that's what this was when I defrosted it but clearly it wasn't so that's all right I'll just be making this again sometime so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna heat up some olive oil in your pan here okay so a little bit of olive oil in the pan Bloop. Okay, so for some reason I was thinking that I was gonna add the onions first to this, but I'm actually adding the sausage here, so I didn't need to add that olive oil in the beginning, so, I mean, probably wouldn't do that, but I did, so just extra fat and flavor. So I'm just gonna brown this meat here really quickly. So while I am waiting for that to brown, I'll chat with you guys for just a little bit, because I love doing that so much. Um, but yeah, if you guys saw this morning, I weighed in at 164. Point four, I think it was. I can't even remember now, but I know that it was only 0 .6, 0 0.6 pounds down from last week, and that is okay. Like, it's totally fine to fluctuate, like, up and down, I think, throughout the week. Like, I'm one of those people that weigh themselves every single day, and that's, that's just what I do. It's not torturous or anything for myself. It's just form of habit, I think. Um, but your weight fluctuates so much, like, throughout the day, throughout the week. Um, depending on how much water you um, drink and depending on what kind of foods you're eating. But I'm pretty happy overall that it's a loss, to say the least, and I'm just gonna keep on going harder. I do think that I need to increase my calories and like what I'm eating. I don't think that I necessarily eat enough. Like I probably should have had a shake today, but what happens is that I will get so focused on what I'm doing. Um, I had to work on a lot of cup orders today and I absolutely love I love doing that. So I was just lost on my cricket. I was helping Nova do arts and crafts. She's actually sitting at the table right now doing some more crafts, but I was trying to like be present and then, you know, like just, I had so much stuff that I was doing today. So I just feel like eating got beside me. And then also too, prepping meals for the kids kind of like takes a lot out of me. Like I just want to get out of the kitchen. It's really weird. Like I'd much rather just snack all day, but I know that I need to eat more intentional meals. Like I, I need to set aside like intentional meal time, especially while I'm home. I do so well eating when I'm at work, like at my job. I think it's because I'm sitting at a desk all day. So I know like at, at least three times during my work day, I'm going to be getting up and leaving my desk so I can eat or snack or something, or I can sit at my desk and snack. Uh, but I do much better eating when I'm there, like eating enough. Um, as you know, when you're lifting weights and you're working out every single day, you need to replenish your body with those calories. So it's super important that you are in a deficit, obviously, if you wanna lose weight, but you have to eat enough to fuel your body. Otherwise, your body will just hold on to fat and it will be extremely difficult to lose. You won't be losing weight. As a matter of fact, you might actually see that you're gaining weight. So. That is what happens. That's why a lot of people say like when they stop working out, they all of a sudden start losing weight uh, if they're dieting. And that's because they weren't giving their body like the adequate calories that they needed to sustain their workout. So keep that in mind. And again, I'm not a nutritionist or anything. This is just something that I've learned trial and error over the years. So yes. This stuff smells like breakfast. I love it so much. So I got this recipe on Pinterest. And if you're not following me over on Pinterest, I always have my Pinterest linked down below in the description box where I have all of my boards. Um, and usually what I like to do when I'm meal prepping for the two weeks 
is I will go on my Pinterest. First thing I'll do is I'll look in my fridge and see what we have to eat, like what we already have and what we could use. Then I'll go on Pinterest and try and like create meals with those things for low carb and then I'll pin it so that I don't forget like if I need to look up the recipe or something like that. I could do a whole video on how I meal plan and how I come up with like these keto meals for the week. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you guys might be interested in seeing and I can definitely do that for you. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is add in your onions and you're gonna also want to add in your garlic at this point and your seasonings. garlic like garlic should not be measured it should be loved and adored okay because garlic is freaking life all right and then just gonna add in some salt some pepper some garlic powder and again I never measure seasoning so sorry a little bit of Italian seasoning because this is an Italian soup. So I'm gonna go a little heavy handed with that. Yummy, this is so good you guys. Smells delicious. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in my broccoli florets. And I'm gonna add my beef broth to fill it. The soup would be really good like to freeze too. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this, like half of a bouillon cube for some added flavor. Actually, I'm just gonna throw the whole thing in. Let this, I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then I'm gonna cover it and let the cauliflower cook for about 20 minutes. It's six o'clock right now. My husband's not even home yet, so I feel like I was just talking to you guys and you can't even see my face the entire time, but I'm gonna let this boil for about 20 minutes just to cook the cauliflower through and then I'll show you guys what we do before serving. Okay, so this is nice and boiling and the cauliflower is soft and I did adjust the seasoning. I added a lot more salt. Don't be shy of the salt on this diet. Um, on a lower carb diet in general or like a keto based diet because you, you, you lose a lot of your electrolytes. So I'm just gonna pour in, I don't know, probably like four handfuls of kale in here. Like four cups worth of kale. I think that's what the recipe calls for exactly, but I hate following recipes. So it's pretty funny that I'm like into health and yeah. wellness and like never, yeah. Never follow the recipe. Yeah. I have a little helper today. This smells heavenly. Okay, and then I'm going to add in the heavy cream. I just have a little bit left in this one, so I'm gonna empty this one and then I'm gonna get my new one that I have. This is going to be such a good dinner. Okay, so this is what we're working with, you guys. This is so good, and I promise you, the cauliflower in place of the potatoes, like, it's gonna taste just the same, I promise you. You season this up right, you add a little bit of hot bread flakes. Oh my gosh, so good. And soup or salad. Kids are having beans and rice because I know that she wouldn't eat the soup and PJ obviously can't eat the soup. Beans and rice, garlic, and drinking fried food. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Noah. 